What does it mean to be black and British? I'm proud to be British, but at the same time, more so, I'm proud to be black. I've always identified myself as proudly British and proudly West African. All my life I've straddled the two cultures. You can be both, you don't have to be exclusively one thing. You will find me there, somewhere between black British and a British Sierra Leonean. Close ties with Britain was a source of pride for many Sierra Leoneans and those strong links saw many, my family included, settle in the UK. Today their children and their grandchildren are British and government data reveals there are almost 2 million black Britons living in the UK, each with their own unique experience of what it means to be black and British. This is my sister and my cousins. Growing up, our parents made sure our West African heritage was a big part of our lives. Um, I found a balance. Responsibility, responsibility for my actions, the way I carry myself, the way I treat my family. We know how we've benefited by being able to carry on our culture, tradition, that sense of identity. And I think there's a responsibility, Mazi's point, there is a responsibility for us to pass it on to the next generation. Five people, they do their culture. So, our food on Friday, we have fish and Akara and planting. It's about pride. I first say I am African, I'm West African, and have been educated in the UK. Um, all of which I am fiercely proud of. Um, but for me, I think my heartland is always back home. When people ask me, oh, so, so Twiggy, where are you from? I'm like, oh yeah, I come from Sierra Leone. Of course I'm British, but I say yes. We've got to be really, really conscious. And that means trying to find talented young black kids, uh, helping them to see that they could be anything. They can do anything. I've benefited from both worlds. I'm British and have been grounded in West African culture.